So it all starts with the inspiration. Now this is honestly the hardest part for me is coming up with some sort of video idea. So it all starts with going out, filming some B-roll with Lewis, maybe filming a vlog, or maybe seeing some new product that's come out that's interests me, that's gaining a lot of traction, or simply explaining something new that I learned in the past little bit of time. The best advice that I can give someone who's struggling with trying to find ideas is go out, shoot something, just force yourself to create. And the other thing is any ideas that pop in your head, write them down, remember them some way, put them in your phone notes, App so you can keep them for later use because sometimes ideas will stem from that one idea you thought of or if you don't think it's a good idea on the spot as time goes on you might look at it and think oh wow that's a pretty good idea I'm gonna make that The next part is actually writing down the script. Now I consider this to be another hard part because this is the part where you create the plan for the video. So it requires more thought. Now I've been doing the same thing for about two years now. I type all my scripts up in text at it, but I started doing something new. I print them out physically on paper so that way I can see exactly what I need to get done and I can make highlights and marks and edits easier on paper. The other nice thing about paper is I can hang it up on my tripod and see exactly what I'm supposed to talk about in front of the camera. Having a concise set of ideas in your mind, I think it helps you work better and more efficiently since I know exactly what I'm supposed to film at what times and how long it has to be. It helps keep your mind on track so you can get the most done in the shortest amount of time. Even including specific little shots you need to get, like for example this script is a lot longer than normal. I knew that when I was planning it, I wanted to get specific style shots for this video. And writing down specific shots can help you later on in the process. The next thing I want to talk about is the gear I use. Now, to be honest, it hasn't really changed a whole lot. I still use the Canon SL2 as my main camera. However, over the summer, I did decide to upgrade the glass on it, so I bought the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. I have videos about it in the past, and it is an absolutely fantastic lens. I still use the same light, it's just a matter of how I position it. See, this year, I just simply moved the light more off to the side to kind of create more of a drop shadow on my face because I like that look as opposed to if it was just shining straight onto my face. I still use the same tripod. I have been doing a lot more more lighting for the background because I feel like that's another important aspect so for the background lights there's a very cheap LED strip down there my dad got them in a pack of three but he only needed two of them so I got the extra one I got four dollar Christmas lights from Home Depot back there just to add a little bit of warm light and I think that having these lights in the back kind of helps add another dimension to the scene especially with this lens they're melted away in the nice blurry background of my main angle I have changed the audio though I used to use the Rode Video Mic Go which is a very good microphone it's designed for vlogging but I always used it kind of in the studio set on the boom pole but I decided I'm gonna upgrade so I'm using my blue snowball now I always used to use it with my PlayStation and for my videos I'm trying to get the absolute best audio quality so the extra work in post is justified <laughs> Video editing is still one of my most favorite parts of this entire process. I love just sitting down at my desk and editing through a video. The only upgrades from my desk really is the new monitor. I bought the HP 27Q Pavilion monitor. It's a QHD monitor, 1440p, and it's very color accurate for its price. So it works great for the color grading and the video editing that I do. And my footage does look really good when I put it up on the big screen. I still use Final Cut Pro on my 2013 MacBook Pro. They work very good together. Final Cut is very optimized, so it's able to edit all of this footage no problem and over the past year I've edited a majority of resolutions from 720p to 4k and it's had zero problems editing any of them now when I'm actually in the edit once I have the main angle all cut up and it's all tied together how I want it I'll actually go through and watch it again with a little notebook and a pen and writing down all the shots that I need to get for b-roll for that video it does take quite a bit longer and it's probably not the most efficient way but it works for me and I feel like it provides a better end product for you guys to watch which at the end of the day is what matters here on YouTube without good audience retention the YouTube algorithm won't recognize them so they won't really get a lot of views and stuff so I always try to strive for making my videos as interesting as possible to try to improve that audience retention rating so as you can see not a whole lot has changed basically how I set everything up is the only thing that's really changed not a lot of new gear or anything but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching I will see you guys in the next video make sure to like and subscribe if you are new peace out